Hi, I'm Jo Pratt and I'm going to show you how to make a very elegant and perfectly seasoned baked sea bass with crispy potatoes and vine tomatoes. Now if you're a fan of entertaining but don't like being stuck in the kitchen while everybody else is out having fun, this is definitely the dish for you. Now to start with, I've got some potatoes. You just want to pop these into the base of a tray. I've got some red pepper, just thinly sliced. Scatter that over the top. So these are all things that you can do well in advance as well if you are going to use this dish as an entertaining meal. I've got some vegetables, so in the form of the red pepper, and I'm also going to put in some red onion. Just scatter that over the surface as well. And then we're going to drizzle with some olive oil. And then I'm going to season. Now, first of all, I'm going to use the Cole & Mason Precision Grinder. This is quite a medium to coarse setting, which is great for this because it's all going to cook beautifully into the potatoes. As for the pepper, I'm going to put this onto a fairly medium to coarse setting as well using the Cole & Mason Precision Grinder. Now the great thing about these grinders is it actually slices through the peppercorn so you get one thing, that lovely aroma, but also a lovely warm flavour. It cuts through rather than crushing so all those pepper oils are slowly released into the food and into your mouth whilst eating it. Now just toss this around and then you want to pop that into your hot oven for about 20 minutes until the potatoes are starting to cook, turning just a couple of times throughout. Now once you've reached that stage, you then want to take it out of the oven, pop in your white wine, pop it back into the oven for 10 minutes. There we go. So the potatoes are lovely and tender and they've actually been cooking with that white wine as well. So they're quite juicy and moist as well, but slightly crispy on the top. Perfect just to eat as they are, but of course we want to put the fish on. Now I'm using some sea bass, which is a very nice tasty fish to use, but of course you could use any white fish or even cod on here, so long as it's a sustainable piece of fish and you like the flavour. I'm going to put some rosemary on, two sprigs of rosemary, one for each piece of fish, just so when the fish is sitting on top of there, the flavour of the rosemary will just infuse throughout the fish, and then pop your sea bass over the top, and then I'm going to season the fish. So. Using the Cole & Mason Precision Grinder, I'm going to make sure it's just on a fine setting and just season the fish with a little salt over the top. Now seasoning it now, just before cooking, will really bring the flavour out of the fish. As for the pepper, I'm going to put this onto a fairly medium to coarse setting as well, using the Cole & Mason Precision Grinder. And you get this lovely consistency of the fine ground pepper using this pepper mill. So there we have the pepper and let's just pop some cherry tomatoes which are still on the vine on the top of each one. You don't have to have them on the vine but putting them on the vine just makes it look that little bit more special and a bit prettier. Add just a little drizzle of olive oil over the top, just enough to coat the fish and those tomatoes and then you want to pop that back in the oven and this will only take about 10 to 12 minutes for the fish to cook through and the tomatoes just to be lovely and juicy and start to pop. And there it is when it's lovely and cooked. You can hear it sizzling away. And you've got these delicious roast tomatoes just on the vine. So popping and all lovely and juicy. So let's just take a nice spatula full of the potatoes with the fish. Don't forget you've got that rosemary sat underneath as well. So you've got that flavour from the rosemary coming into the potatoes and into the fish. And then just put a portion of the potatoes around the edges as well. Now you could serve this with a green salad on the side if you wanted to, but if you haven't got the time or really just don't want to serve anything else with it, it's absolutely fine because you've got your carbohydrate, you've got your vegetables, you've got the sea bass there, and it is all perfectly seasoned. So there you have it, your very elegant and deliciously seasoned baked sea bass with crispy potatoes and vine tomatoes.